Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a good size grocery haul for you, some really good deals, new food finds, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. So let me turn you around and let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I have a nice big haul from my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. What you don't see is five 12 packs of Diet Coke. They're $4.99 a 12 pack, limit of five. And I bought five eight packs of Gatorade Zero for Troy. They're $5.99 a piece when you buy five. So that is an amazing deal. Better price than Costco and Sam's Club. So that's all in the garage and let's jump into the rest of the haul. So I picked up some whole milk. This is for a dinner recipe, actually two recipes this next week and then whatever's left over, Troy will drink. And then I did pick him up two gallons of his 1% milk. Goodies from the reduced bakery section. This is the vanilla iced little cakes as well as these little strawberry mini strudels. He likes both of those and I think I might make cookies this week as well. I have those zero sugar Reese's peanut butter chips from Nutrition. So I might make like a double peanut butter cookie, but this will be enough to just tide him over at the first part of the week. I grabbed some more queso because I really loved that queso chicken and I might make burrito bowls, taco bowls, and queso is just a really good addition. It adds a lot of flavor and it's super, super low calorie. So I picked a jar up just to have on hand and I keep forgetting to get sesame oil. I really like the one from Trader Joe's and I forgot to get it last time. And so I just picked this up to have it because every time I want to use it, I don't have any. So this is the Sun Luck Pure Sesame Oil. And then light mayo was on sale for $4.99, which is absolutely absurd, but that's about two to three dollars off the normal price. We are about out, so I picked another one up. And then I got some Phi A 0% non-fat plain Greek yogurt. This is for a couple of recipes. And I was so excited to see the Zero Sugar Coffee Mate Pumpkin Spice. If you saw Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, we did our first pumpkin spice moment with the pumpkin spice cold foam, and it was delicious, so I can't wait for this. And then, of course, I'll move on to my sugar-free peppermint mocha, which is my all-time favorite. Two loaves of Troy's bread. These were buy one, get one free. So that was $2.25 a loaf. Really, really good price. And then for some canned goods, I needed some beef broth and some vegetable broth for a recipe as well as pineapple chunks. And then we love these. And anytime they're on the reduced list, anytime they're reduced, I grab them. These are the cheese pizza stuff, cremini mushrooms. You just pop them in the oven and they're such a good little side. So I think I'm going to make those turkey burgers from Trader Joe's and have these on the side. So that'll be just a really nice addition to a meal. And that's a really, really good price. I also grabbed two tubs of fat-free whipped topping. This is for my meal prep and then some lunch meat for the week. They actually have the Foster Farms, no nitrates, no nitrates meat for $3.29, which is a really good deal. So I got the oven roasted. Again, if you saw Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I've been loving my unwitches, my little Jimmy John's dupe. So I picked up some lunch meat for that. And then I also got the Select Cuts Uncured Smoked Ham for Troy and myself. It just depends on what type of unwitch I want. If you missed Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I will link it for you. I had to get my Cheez-Its. I missed them this last week. So I picked up the big family size box of the Extra Toasty. I love these. It's just a good salty, crunchy side. And then I got mini vanilla wafers. This is for my meal prep. I grabbed two of the lemon two good yogurts. These are seasonal and I just have a bad feeling they're going to go away here pretty soon. And it's my favorite yogurt from Too Good. Love it with blueberries, love it with chia smash, a little lemon curd, some Catalina crunch. So I grabbed two more just again, just to be safe that I get them one more time before they're gone. And then I did grab the sugar-free vanilla pudding. This is also for my meal prep. I needed orange juice for a recipe and then whatever's left over, we 
you will drink. And then I, this is another thing I've been forgetting over and over to restock. I have panko breadcrumbs, but I didn't have actual Italian breadcrumbs. And this week I need these for a recipe. So I remembered to grab them. Yay me. I need chicken breast for a recipe as well. And this is the Simple Truth Organic. That is an amazing deal for these. I went ahead and picked up two. And actually when I was loading my car, I thought, man, I should have grabbed some more and thrown them in the freezer because that's an amazing price for organic chicken. It's about half off the normal price. I got two packs of the 90 second roasted chicken rice. Troy likes to have these as side dishes and they were on sale. So I picked up two and also on sale. I'm excited for this. This is Irish cheddar cheese. So this is the fancy cheese in the fancy cheese section. I want to say it was only like $8 and it was reduced to $2.92. So I think I'm going to slice this up. I bought those multigrain crackers from Trader Joe's and I'm going to do cheese and crackers. That sounds so good. We can even add turkey or ham to those. So I'm excited to try the fancy cheese. And then I got a big bag of pecans because it was only a couple dollars more than the small bag of pecans. And I need that for a couple of recipes this week. I wanted a can of the no sugar added mandarin oranges. They didn't have a can. They only had the mandarin oranges in syrup, which I didn't want. So I just got these little individual cups. We love throwing mandarin oranges on our cottage cheese. So we will eat these and I did need the oranges for a recipe. And then I got Troy his country potato salad with egg. Whenever that's on a reduced price, I always pick that up. And then everything else is produce. So raspberries were two for five. Couldn't pass up that deal. I did grab a couple of English cucumbers. I want to slice those up for snacking. This was a great deal. I think I'm going to do this for lunch today. This is the Taylor Farms apple feta salad, $2.06. So this is actually a couple of lunches for me. Throw my real good chicken on top and it's chef's kiss. So I grabbed that some bananas for a recipe, my favorite lettuce. This is the lettuce you guys know that I love, the artisan romaine. This is what I use for my unwitches. And then I needed this for a recipe. I'm making a salad in my meal prep. As soon as we're done here with the grocery haul, we'll hop into what's for dinner and Monday's meal prep. And then lastly is some strawberries. I picked up two, they were $2.69 a pound and I need that for a recipe. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So I'm actually making Ikea Swedish meatballs. So this is a copycat recipe from the Ikea store. I never knew they had food. So I'm really excited to make these. You'll see this in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then I'm making cheesy beef quesadillas. And here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. You're not going to want to miss it. For breakfast, I'm making sticky buns. Yes, 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 yes. For lunch, I'm doing copycat Panera strawberry poppy seed salad. It's one of my favorite salads from Panera. And Panera is so expensive. I'm going to show you a much more affordable way to make it at home. And then for dessert, I'm making banana pudding. Troy and I love banana Anna pudding. So again, stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Fry's, my local Kroger store, my meal plan for the week. Stay tuned on Monday for the amazing meal prep. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a grocery haul or any of the other videos that I upload. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Saturday and I will see you in tomorrow's video. I have a very exciting announcement coming out for you tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye.